Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I am. I watched a video a while back of Nick the Booksmith and she made this cute little um, bookcase. And then not long ago, she made another one. And I just thought they were so cute. And I thought, you know, I'm going to make me one of those. So I did. And this one, of course, is bigger than hers. This is 17 inches tall and 11 inches wide because uh, that's how big my chipboard was. So that's what I used for the back. And then I just based everything else off of that. I used paper from like four different paper packs. I got some of this cute stuff on the side. I've got like a wood grain on the top. I have I have moths and skulls and constellations and black paint and oh this stuff here this sparkly pretty stuff this is from that uh that vampire paper pack bitten yeah pretty stuff huh so yeah i think this turned out really really cool and i went ahead and just made it well then nick the booksmith decides after that to have uh, challenge, mini bookcase challenge. So I um, am making this video for that challenge. So I just wanted to show you guys. This is my, what I do is I, when I'm making books and stuff and I have little pieces left over, pieces of covers and pieces of, um, you know, a bunch of little paper, whatnot, you know, I um, usually make little tiny books out of those, and so now I have somewhere to put them when I make them. Usually I give them to my granddaughters, but the ones I really like, I think I'll put in here. <laughs> so anyways, um, I hope you like my little bookcase. I think it's really nice and spooky, and I don't have the best lighting or any of that kind of crap. I just use my phone, so I hope you guys can get a good idea of how cool it looks. Here's my little clock I made. There's like three different um, layers and then I put pop, uh, you know, foam stuff between them. So, super cute. Love those skulls. So, anyway, okay. I just wanted to show you what Creepy Creations has been up to a little bit. So, there you are. Hope you like it. And thanks, Nick, for the idea. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye now.